These are the sounds of the wickedness, musical bliss kiss. We're gonna give it to you like this. Jeff TV coming from the underground. Feel the force, no. If you can't feel the force, then what good are you? In advance, delicate soldier in the afternoon pramble through Ding Dong Watsits, ever lost in this binary sphere of crap. But there we were. And I came upon a theory. I felt a reckoning. I felt a reckoning for my soul and my beaver. Not that I have a beaver in that respect, because I'm biblical and we don't speak in slang, modern slang. If we did, we'd have to tra translate the whole Bible into chav, bling, ding, dong, it, bonnet, hip hop, whatnot, cackery of urban dictionary nonsense. And that's why. The OED will still define slang as slang. But if the slang builds and people are just talking slang, well, it will be like a neo babel. No one will know what it's talking about. You'll all be talking shy, not that you've talked much sense before. And we'll all descend into a, a new form of confusion and madness because slang is technically a regular discourse. Vulgar discourse, urban, grimy, dodgy, thicko speak, to put it another way. It is not the great new vernacular. It is a worry to the biblical translators of the modern English parlance. And it is with this great worry that I commend you to the spirit of the peace that you have afforded now for some time upon this isle. It has been noted. The limited number of knifings in the last five years, generally in the UK, compared to what was going on a few years before that. Thus, something, somewhere along the chain of morality input, has worked. Something has worked, and it's not working in America, where they shoot each other up on a regular basis. Right? But the UK has got better and not killing its own now for about half a decade. Just a random figure. But um, <coughs> but it is about that time in the screen. Probably because we were all dying from COVID instead. Right? So people thought, oh God, oh no, it's not all about getting hip hop and drugs. Is that we're actually all dying from a pestilence from God. Right? And it was potentially from God. <coughs> Before the COVID hit. No, I haven't got it now, I've just got smoker's cough. When you know, after 30 years of pummeling the Marlboros? <coughs> no, no. Before The week before Corona hit, I got a voice. Nothing new in that, I hear voices. It's well documented. <coughs> and it said, I'm going to set a pestilence among you. wasn't me. I didn't do it. But it was, I think it was an angel who told me. Because it wasn't a, a demonic voice. It sounded more like it was from the divine realm. And I'm sorry, but in the apocalypse, angels of God used pestilences to kill a lot of people as a warning. <coughs> you know, those who disobey the word of the Lord, frankly, don't stand a chance. I'm just saying, it's a known biblical fact for years, it's why we're all Christians. Because we're terrified of getting on the wrong side of the all-known supernatural author of the cosmos. And all his angel warriors. Demons, they even worse, were caught in the crossfire. The intergalactic supernatural interspectral crossfire between dimensions of regular powers in this infinite quantum matrix of energy. Never mind. We press on diligently through the whatnots, hoping, seeing, realizing there is hope, there is God, there is light. 
every day there is light and hope in God. But can we see it? Therein lies the rub. Can you feel it? Therein lies the rarity. Do you know it? Therein lies the ultra rarity. Which is why tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's welcome to the Illuminati, the true Illuminati, the enlightened ones, the sons of God, the ones illuminated by God above, and not anything to do with any conspiracy bullshit you've heard or read in any shape, form, including the books about Adam Weishaupt and his movement. The Illuminati have been around since Egypt. According to a dictionary I have from a very long time ago, Adam Weishaupt was uh, the one famous for coining the term the Illuminati, which simply means the enlightened ones in Latin. But we have to ask, are there enlightened ones in this world? And I have to say, yes there are, because I am one. And it came at a price that no human being could afford fiscally. What I mean by that is that you can't buy illumination from God. You have to be found worthy to be illuminated, which I was. When I strolled one day into Glastonbury Festival in 1995, off my rolly pocker, and um, spent three days and three nights just going through a lot, went home after thinking I'd accidentally triggered a war just by turning up, and therein I was illuminated by God with a halo, a crown of light. Because I had passed the test of faith. Because I, always, I did believe in God back then. Even in my humble, naive university years, I realised not only... Um, well not, who was it? Not Pavlov. Uh, who was the other one? You know... The guy, the guy who made the wager, pa uh, uh, Paslow's, no, not Maslow. <sighs> the guy's wager about whether it's to believe in God or not to believe in God, right? And so when I was up against it, and there was a lot of shit going on, and, and I wasn't really interested in doing evil, but I wanted to have a good time and explore and seek enlightenment and, and find new senses in my rudimentary understanding of what warrants uh, sensible exposure to consciousness. I, uh, I dabbled in the field of this, that and the other, and therein I faced the penalty of conscious sufferance that destroyed me almost entirely for all the time. But I didn't because I was saved by God, because I prayed, because I opted. Finally, instead of atheist thinking, I put my heart up and thought, well no, I don't know, I have no idea. So maybe there is, maybe there is, and I'm going to go with that one. Instead of going with a blanket, no, shut down, atheism, no, there is no good. No, no, that's been, you're all a bunch of weirdos. Right, no, I don't go down that channel, right? I go down the super spiritual, mental, creative, opening up to the wonderment of the universe kind of stuff. And I accept, after all my findings in space-time, there could definitely well be a God. And I have evidence of that. Quite a lot of it, given most people don't have any. I've got at least seven tails, and they're not tails on my butt, you shit fuck. They're seven stories which are true, and all prove supernature under God, which is God. God is supernature. Okay? Let this be a lesson to you, including the Muslims. Thank you, darlings. Thank you one and all for continuing this piece. In the glorious universe, under God, the Uber One, the intergalactic, majestic, supernatural, super intelligent, fantastic. Good night. Over and out. Special ones of light. And there it was, like a builded cusp, budding on the edge of eternity. Sweating in the planes of non existence. I was in there once, in my mind, in the 
collective creation of soul that I found myself within, watching Vietnam films from the 80s at a public school. I suppose, looking back, I'm torn between two favourites. They are Apocalypse Now and Platoon. They were extraordinary films, extraordinary films, and it was partly those films at a military school, and they were anti-war films, and it was at a military school, and the potency of value in the devotion to their creation, in the beauteous realm of audiovisual celebration was just incredible. They both work as extraordinary, extraordinary anti-war films. And I love them and they just exacerbated my fervour for the power of cinema to be used as a medium, as a tool to demonstrate the light to humanity rather than the darkness, which I fear. Hollywood goes too far down the road of darkness, doesn't it? Event Horizon, anyone? Saw franchise anyone? All manner of a history of utterly horrific horror anyone? Anyone seen that film Society from the 90s? Oh, oh, it's not Desmond Lynham and it never will be. So let's go. We're going to have a long and arduous night tonight. I do apologise for that immediately. I have to go through a lot of things to save your butts from damnation and Hades and hell. You know what I'm saying? Because you think I'm an asshole for shit I even do! Right? Okay? It's moronic. Moronic. He screams into the whisper of the decadent dawn of doomed humanity at this juncture. For God's sakes, no wonder Putin's being a, a rascal and a ratbag and a bit of an ebullient sausage with his big warrior glands. Not all of us have warrior glands. Some of us. I'm not going to go there, all right? I'll just shut up. Okay, so, what we're doing is, tonight is looking at the long term field circuit of an affair room. The long term field circuit of an affair room is a cerebral glitch system which junctures in the cosmic window of the thought process in the cognitive window of the self of the soul when reflecting after formative experiences from a dualistic point of view using more religious curves. Right? And we expand around the retrograde of the upper field socket, which isn't a lucid curve, but it is a stopping system. for retro or not. And there, we take a holistic world view of everything within the subject matter of the pre-adorned pattern being displayed within the freedom of our creation which we are making up as we go along, like Indiana Jones. So we do it. This is what we have so far after very little build factor or endurance or sufferance or even fortitude, or sweat, alright? This is what we already have, and already I'm beginning to see excitement, alright? I'm seeing targeting vectors, I'm seeing windows in the target of my sniper system using high-tech weaponry, for instance, I'm not saying that's what it is, I'm just saying, you know, wow, that's quite interesting already, but where can we go from here? That's the point, where does it lead to? It can't lead to war. It can never lead to war. It must lead to peace and love. And thus, we throw in a symbol like Superman. No, that's not a butt. That's a heart. Should be a little more pointed down here, as you know. But it doesn't really matter. But now look, now, uh oh, here we go.
see like a little teddy bear piggy thing coming out of here? Yeah? You see in there? Do you see the little rascal with his piggy little eyes? Yeah? Look at that piggy little face. Piggy little nose. And there's a ticking tiny bomb of an asshole. Right, so there you go, I've ruined a perfectly good early demonstration of something wonderful. And I could go on, but uh, this was the point of explaining tonight the definition of creation, where from a humble beginning with reverence and style and understanding, by just efforting, efforting into creation, you can augment the universe. As we have done here tonight, I've taken you on a trip, it began very well, it's sort of gone a bit off sausage with this techno cosmic uber pig. And no, uh, no, I'm not going there. Uh, but either way, you know, and he's a bit of a bear as well, but I can't do it anymore. I just can't be bothered anymore, I'm sorry. And it's really bugging me, but I've just got a lot on my plate, you know. And I'm a bit sick and tired of sufferance. However, I do seek to muscle through and I try my best to make everything work out well for humanity. But it's very hard when all of them are so stupid in a sense, you know? Not all of them so much as others. I mean, where, where, do you know anyone who makes stealth fighters? Do you? Do you? No, I don't. I know a couple of millionaires, very high ranking millionaires, worth 30, 40 million apiece. But even they're not that level of tech to make stealth fighters. Who are? Where do they come from? What are their names? Why are they creating these weapons of supersonic uber death? Even though it's very clever and impressive. It's a war machine out there in America, my friends. And in parts all over the world, we've been trained to think conflict. It's the nature of humanity. By this dualism thrust into our TV screens via wonders such as Transformers, which is a consistent battle between good and evil in the robot, autobot, Decepticon world. It's a travesty, actually, that they're using a concept to make us feel more conflicted within the world because it makes Johnny good storytelling. The fact is, it could be considered under the Holy Lord an evil thing. Because you're racing with our mirror neurons under false illusion of an illusionary war. And it's generating a consciousness of desire to emulate our heroes who are cyborg psychotic warriors into violence and mayhem and all things unholy in the name of Optimus Prime, for instance, right? Whereas actually, we should be thinking more along the lines of His Holiness, the Lord Jesus Christ, and how He bonded with His brothers at the spiritual vector of all soulful value. And it's with that in mind that I'm reminded of how bored I was at school, when the, the blessed had learnt the entirety of Handel's Messiah, and we had to sit through about six hours of music, and I was just bored. It was torture. But I didn't realise, I didn't appreciate in my stupid, ignorant, bloody age how good they were, and how wonderful they were, and how devoted they were to music and effort. They were much better than me, every single one of them. From the piccolo to the harpist to the trianglist to the trombone man. Even though that's the drums. You know, I, you, you free will this for this long without making a mistake. It takes ages to master. And I'm still not the best. But even if I was, I don't think I'm going to beat up a thug or a brute or a boxer or a kung fu artist or anyone really. I don't really want to beat up anyone. I quite like teddy bears. And I like teddy bears because they symbolise the sweetness of America's dominion during an empirical time for them under great administration of noble law. And that is a wonderful thing. That is a wonderful thing. In the 90s, 
we had, uh, you know, the Prodigy, the Chili's, I would say Faith No More, but I don't want to give them the, the credence they're worth, because it's just not right. I am a believer in God, and Faith No More, well, they made some banging tunes, but they were a bit dark side for me. So to the Prodigy, really, but they made awesome, fat, groovy, drop beat, break beat, breaks and beats and whatnot, right? And it's very exciting and everyone grooved in the fields of Avalon. And that is a true story. I've been to the fields of Avalon during a major sesh and there were just thousands of us all out just fucking dancing under incredible, relentless, uplifting, positive, super mofo beats. It was wild. And you talk to me about heaven? Well, whatever it was that I went through, it sure wasn't hell. That bit. There was another bit that was, but we we can we compartmentalize that. We partition that into a secure section, piece of my space time history, which is no longer allocated any influence on my or others' comprehension of what is real. Because if that sufferance was disclosed to a, a third party, then I would not be well within my soul to know the purpose of value. And as with this, my little friends, I wrap up tonight's symposium and hope all is well under the cosmic targeting face-off between the little piggy and the teddy bear. It's a long way to Tipperary, but I'm not going. What a shit man. What a shit man. What a shack and fuck the what the fuck. What the fuck. What the fuck. Who am I? Who am I? Who are you? Who are you? Don't you shoot me. Fucking onions. Which means, they're coming in time for the main breed. Someone's got to spill the ding down. And it ain't going to be me. So let's go. Rapid fire and all combat systems for foreign claims. Shit, but down those weapons, mofos. Put down those weapons, mofos. Put down those weapons, mofos. Put down those Put down those weapons, my foes. Put down those weapons, my foes. Put down those weapons, my foes. <laughs> ah! Shut up. Shut up. Think you can pick your swing the main thing now? <laughs> Talking to Victor's. to see we finally had this conversation models. Don't think I ever hated you all. I only hated you three. I were crucified now. I will not tell you their names to protect you against the horror of their moral. In the field of valor and holiness, they did not come forth. They weren't willing. They weren't knowing, understanding, or filled with the holiness of nature and God and everything awesome. Because as we know due to the Lego movie, everything is awesome. Stand your ground, pilot. Selected for orbital engineering, value factor, Echo 19 Ultra Delta. See you on the other side, humanity. We're going full vector for salvation. 
Don't have a thing I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Complicated levels of subject indifference to the very environment of society. And the questionable aspects of every sordid thought in 48 years. But what are these things? What are these things that replicate within our minds? There'll be desire in the name of fortune and glory and non-sufferance, but purity, divinity, sense of purpose, belonging, truth. Truth is what we need. And truth from the supernatural is what I have. And if you don't believe me, then you don't know, and you can get out of my court. Because what I say is true. I've been met by the beings on high. That is the truth. Do with that knowledge what you will. Just don't let it, let it make you scared. They don't want us to live in fear. Death himself freed me because I looked fearlessly into his eyes. Keep your combat ready and true, but do not desire conflict in any way, shape, form, or possible, sir. And we will make it all through this space time continuum in the retro curve of divine extrapolated knowledges of augmented cognitive divinity. And if you can keep up with all that in one sustained period of time, you're a better man than me. So we walk on diligently through the psychic sphere of reference, knowing the little piggy robot thing. It's just 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 start from my design, my beginning, my my efforts to change the world in a positive direction. With these little crumbs of reality. Do you see now, Father Bungalow? Do you see? And there it is, structured, delighted, spectacular, and incredibly wonderful to the brazen age of Hua. Splendid, really, if you can handle that sort of, uh, you know, categorical notion. So anyway, on we go, plodding through the vectors, and no one can say anything about what I know, because I know you don't know what I know, and therefore I'm going to try and tell you what I know, but not tonight. Because I think you want to know something about what I'm doing. But I ain't doing nothing but talking, man. That's all I'm doing, man.